Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates. Mighty dry and warmer conditions as we head through the next couple of days. Mother Nature's going to tease you before she pulls the rug out from under you and bring in more cold weather as we get into next week. And it's going to flip around here heading into next week as we expect. There is a little bit of moisture getting into eastern Washington and northern Idaho tonight. Just a little bit of some rain and some very high elevation snow. But as we go to the Vipercast, I'm going to start off pretty wide and zoom it in here. High pressure throughout the west. California, the Great Basin, southern Oregon. You can see here uh, lots of blue sky except for some high level cloud cover. We have this system to the north. And what's happening, we're getting some high-level cloud cover spilling over the ridge of high pressure. So it's not going to be a completely blue sky. No, we are going to get that high-level cloud deck all throughout the next couple of days here. And then we do have a slight chance, I want to stress a slight chance of some snow around the Continental Divide and the National Parks for tomorrow and Friday. This is Friday at 1 o'clock on the Vipercast, but I stopped it here just to show you that we do have a slight chance of getting some snow into the mountain areas there around the National Parks. Now we get into Saturday. Saturday night. You're going to get a little bit of some spotty snow showers. Lemhi County possibly could get some as early as Saturday evening, uh, but we're going to hold off on most of the wet stuff until we get into Sunday and Monday. You will see some spotty snow and rain showers western Montana and northern Idaho for the weekend. So if you're heading up that direction, uh, just be wary that you might be hitting a bit of some rain and snow, I-15, I-90 especially, and getting up into the Panhandle. Warmer temperatures in the forecast, abundant sunshine, and rapid melting. Here's where we stand. With the forecast here heading into the weekend, these are the forecast highs for Idaho Falls. These are the normal highs for this time of the year. So you can see here, we're 53 compared to a 33. That's a big uh, uh, drop, a big, well, I would say a big difference between the normal high and the daytime high, definitely. But we'll start to see that curve come a little bit closer together getting into next week. 27 Idaho Falls with a low for tonight. High 54 in Blackfoot, 51 in Idaho Falls, 31 in Pocatello, mid 50s in Pocatello, near 60 tomorrow in Burley, 48 in Chalice, 45 in Stanley, with 47 in Mackey, 48 for Rexburg tomorrow, 45 for St. Anthony, even Island Park seeing a lot of melting here with temperatures into the lower 40s. Lower uh, 40s, upper 30s for West Yellowstone. We'll see the lower 40s for Driggs, 30s for Jackson, the mid to upper 30s there. Lower 40s for Afton, mid 40s for Soda Springs, and near 50 for Lava Hot Springs with the lower 50s in Preston. The eight day forecast keeping the mild temperatures all the way through Saturday. Here comes the cooler trend as we get into Monday night in through. Tuesday and Wednesday. That cooling trend will bring in temperatures here uh, close to freezing for Tuesday. So we'll see a drop in temperatures here. And then uh, we're going to clear out and bring in some sunshine. So cool and sunny conditions into the middle of next week there. And it'll be more akin to what February should feel like. Pocatello near 60 for Saturday, 53 on Sunday. Even Pocatello should drop into the 30s for Tuesday with a little bit of some rain and snow on Monday. But it's not going to be a big storm coming through on Monday. Rexburg highs here just shy of 50 for Friday, upper 40s, lower 50s on Saturday, mid, 50, uh, mid 40s for Sunday. Lower 30s, right around freezing for highs on Monday and Tuesday. Blackfoot, you're also looking at a drop in temperatures next week, but very mild here for the next couple of days, near 60 degrees on Friday, 56 on Saturday. Carol, your horses are going to be loving it here with temperatures, though, dropping next week. They're going to be wondering what's happening here because it was so warm and then it turns back to cold. Salmon highs here, mid 40s for Friday. We'll see mid 40s into Saturday and Sunday. Chance of rain and snow again coming in for the weekend. Uh, most of that's going to wait until Sunday, but I wouldn't be surprised if you got a couple of raindrops in salmon on Saturday, especially Saturday evening. Jackson, some snow coming back in here into next week with temperatures into the 20s. And Jackson, we're going from 38 degrees tomorrow down to a high of 23 degrees. Tuesday of next week. Big drop. Coming back, back where they and, should be for the semi. I <laughs> warned you about this. I yeah. warned you that we were going to be looking getting into next week. It's going to start to turn more into February. Winter weather. again.